Today I'm going to tell you about the process of mummification. Ancient Egypt was a very religious place and believed in the afterlife and such. Therefore, mummification or treating the body greatly and making it prepared for the afterlife was a very big part of it. There were so many steps in it, and that's why today I'm going to show you how they did it. Step one, you find a dead body. Die! 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 As you see, this is no peasant or a lower class. Only the upper class could afford to get their bodies mummified. And that's why the pharaoh's dead, and it's going to be mummified. In the process of mummification, or before that, the Egyptians believed that the god Anubis would come and weigh the heart of the mummy, which was obviously the most important part, and the brain was apparently useless. They thought the heart held the thoughts and memories and everything. If the heart was light, then it would go to the happy afterlife. If it was heavy, then a monster would kill it, and it would go through a second death. Step two, insert a hook up its nose and take out the useless brain. Step three, cut open the body. Once the body's cut open, take out all the organs, including the intestines, the lungs, the liver, and the kidney. As I told you before, the Egyptians believed the heart was amazing and awesome and everything. That's why it was left inside the body. Next, natron was put on the body. Then, the body was left to shrivel up, shrink, and die for 40 days. 40 days later. 40 days later. The body is shrinkled up and shrinkled up, <laughs> shrunk, and sh wrinkled. I don't know. Um, then, after 40 days, you have to wrap the heart in linen. After the heart is wrapped in linen, you have to wrap the mummy in linen. This was probably the longest part of the process other than waiting for the 40 days. I've had personal experience in this. So realistic. So realistic. All the pieces had to be tight and on the body. That's why we're taking so much time right now. Once the mummy is wrapped with linen, then more spices, carbs, and natron, along with oil, and amulets are placed on the body. Then, a ceremonial mask, which has the face of the dead pharaoh, is placed on the dead pharaoh. Then, the pharaoh is put in the sarcophagus. If I hadn't told you before, Anubis is the god of the dead, and thought to be the jackal god. If you've seen some hieroglyphics, you might have seen front list of artwork with a god or a person with a jackal head. This is the god Anubis. He, as I told you before, played a very big part in the process of going to the afterlife. Once the mummy is inside its sarcophagus, items for it to use in the afterlife are put inside, such as its internal organs, Toys, jewels, and a statue of itself is put inside the tomb. Now, we have to wait and see if this pharaoh will be sent to the afterlife or will be devoured by the monster. Mummy, madam, slave or Anubis' helper, 
Ruby. Die! Anubis, Amber, and narrator, me. Honorable mention. Script writers, Ruby and Mega. So, the mummy and Anubis is called for a slash. Prox, Arya and Amber, Anubis, and me, basically. Then the costumes, we all picked in the back. And for the director, it was all of us, except for Ruby. Me! She I was the director! Me! Thank you for watching our production. Playing the hard! Uh, my <laughs>